Gibson was respected as an actor in Hollywood. And today, I introduce a new segment I like to call Retro Reviews! Introduction. So today I am going to travel back to a time where Mel Gibson's name wasn't disrespectful or was actually good in some ways. All the way back to the original Mad Max trilogy. Now keep in mind there might be some minor spoilers so if you haven't seen the movies, minor spoiler alert just to let you know. But let's not waste any time guys, let's get into it with the first original film titled Mad Max released in 1979. Now I feel that a lot of people either love this movie or are kind of on the fence about it. I'm kind of in the middle to be honest. There are some things I praise about the movie. Number one, the action is spectacular, especially the first and last car chase I thought was greatly filmed and had some great cinematography, especially from a film that barely had little to no budget, and was directed by George Miller, who originally wanted to be a doctor, but actually quit to become a director because he felt that he was more successful in that than being a doctor. Very fun fact for you. And there are some props to Mel Gibson, who this was the role that really introduced him to the world, this was the role that really brought him out as an actor. He did actually a really good job for one of his first roles. However, there are some faults to it. Number one, this movie is extremely... BORING! Oh my god, this movie is just such a slow pace. After the first action scene, where it's just awesome and badass, they basically just do this so slow little halt, and it's just really, really boring. And then you go to this area where Max basically quits the force as a cop, and settles down with his family, and it just goes on for a long time. I'm not even joking, this movie is an hour and a half long, and it felt at least two and a half hours. It's nuts, guys. However, I do not hate this movie. I think people should watch this movie at least once in their life. I just think it's a little overhyped and a little overrated, especially from a lot of Mad Max fans. But overall, I'm, I like the movie enough, and I'm going to give it a C+. Now we get on the one that everybody loves, Mad Max 2, a.k.a. The Road Warrior. Now, same praises that I saw with the first movie that I have to recommend with the second movie. The action is breathtaking, the directing is beautiful, Mel Gibson, once again, is awesome, and it's crazy because he only has a few lines in the movie, and yet... You're so sucked into him as an actor. He has like this Clint Eastwood man with no name vibe. And I think that was really cool for the actor to portray. But I thought the pacing was way better. Even though this movie is actually longer than the first one. Which is interesting. And the crazy thing is at the beginning they actually recount his origin in a way. So it's like the, you don't really need to watch the first one to fully get it. So if I were you I would just watch the second one Road Warrior. And watch it all. When the first one was pre-apocalyptic. This one is after-apocalyptic. This one is a wasteland. 
There are people running around with assless chaps and blonde boys strapped on their back. I, I swear to God, people think I'm... People who haven't seen the movie are probably thinking I'm making stuff up, but it's true. Watch the movie. I'm not wrong. But I thought the action was actually more pumped up than in the first one, and I thought the pacing was way better. And the stunts are out of this world insane. It's nuts how they perform these stunts, and nobody died. And what we know, nobody did die. It's just a lot of broken bones and a lot of broken legs and such. I would definitely recommend this one to hardcore Mad Max fans and even people who have not seen the first Mad Max, haven't seen the third Mad Max, which I will get to soon. I would definitely recommend those things, and I'm going to give the film an A-. Now on to the third entry in the trilogy, Mad Max 3, Beyond Thunderdome. It's a crazy thing with this movie because a lot of people are on the same offense with the first one as they are with the third one is that they're kind of split. A lot of people either really like this movie and think it's really fun, and a lot of people think it's really stupid and dumb. And do I think it's really stupid or dumb? Yes, I do. Yeah, it's, it's dumb. It's stupid. It's just, it's ridiculous. But that's the fun of the movie. It, and that's what I really like about it. Tina Turner is in this movie, for God's sake. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> and at times it does feel like a music video, and I'm just like, ugh. But it's it's dumb, It's and you can have fun with it, you can watch it, and you can definitely have a good time with it. Once again, Mel Gibson does a great job in his performance. The action when it happens is fun, and the, Beyond Th and the Thunderdome scenes are great. And in this one, Mad Max basically travels to a Thunderdome-like world. And that's my main problem with the movie, is that once he gets to Thunderdome, it feels like... A a completely different franchise like it just doesn't feel like a Mad Max movie like the first two even the first one it felt like a Mad Max movie it felt like it would take place before Road Warrior but this one just feels like it's a completely different director or something <coughs> sorry I just need sorry about that and just like in the first one it does go on for a little too long and I really wish it would have been a little faster paced However, this movie can still be watchable, it can still be fun, and I actually had more fun of a time watching this one than the first one. So for that reason, I'm going to give the film a B-. I hope you guys like my reviews, I really hope that you can watch these movies still with me watching the reviews. And I definitely recommend watching the whole trilogy, you just really need to sit down and find the time to watch the whole trilogy. So tell me, if you have seen the Mad Max trilogy, what's your favorite one? Mine would probably have to be, once again, Road Warrior, it, and that's probably what you yours is if you've seen it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed these three movies, and I really wanted to bring more retro reviews to you guys. And until next time, I'll see you then.